The Mini Moog is looked at by most as the holy grail of synthesizers. Even those who haven't the faintest idea of what an oscillator is tend to know the name Moog when they hear it. The Mini Moog has your basic synthesizer structure. An oscillator bank, the core of your sound, the mixer section, allowing to combine the oscillators and the noise generator, your filter, or as they called it on the Mini Moog, modifiers to scope the sound, two envelopes, and some additional controllers that you can apply to the filter or use to add a dynamic dimension to your sound. I like the fact that they're still unique and actually since everyone, even with the newer keyboards, are still going back to the older sounds. So, I like those sounds. <laughs> They're just my favorite. Let's start with the basic preset. To change your sound, you can switch waveforms. Change the pitch of your waveforms. Turn your oscillators on and off. Open and close the filter. And regulate your attack time. In the end, you'll have some classic mini Moog sounds like this. Arturia has taken advantage of current possibilities to bring you more. By opening the top panel, you have access to a modulation matrix, an extra LFO for more complex sounds, an arpeggiator, two additional effects, and something many Moog fans would have loved to have back in the day, polyphony. The Mini Moog V comes loaded with more than 600 presets made by some of the world's most talented sound designers. As you can see, in Arturia's Mini Moog V, you're given the simple structure of the classic with a big sound.